It's day seven of Bet Victor Championship League Snooker. We're heading towards the end of our first stint. And before we look ahead to today's play, Dave Hendon is with me to look back on yesterday's play. And Stuart Bingham, almost perfect in going through, he didn't drop a frame. Can't ask for more than that. And I think actually, I mean, he admitted he didn't necessarily play his best snooker all, all day, but he's perfect with this format. You know, he doesn't, Stuart doesn't care what the tournament is, where it is in the world. He will turn up, he'll give it the same respect. And yeah, you know, to win every frame he's played and not necessarily be at his best, he must be delighted. First tournament of the season. And as a former Championship League winner, he's got a lot of experience of this tournament. He could be something to have an eye on in that final week, couldn't he? Definitely. I mean, he got to the last group of, of the previous Championship League in the summer here in the same venue. Yeah, like I say, you know, he will give every tournament. He won't sort of rank the tournaments necessarily. He will give every tournament the same respect. Just loves playing snooker. I'm sure he's uh, delighted that it's all back on again after the break from the World Championship. And over on table two, it was Zhao Gadong who went through. Uh, Hossein Defy actually played really well during the day, but in the end, Zhao just had that little bit of extra quality. Yeah, he got an important draw with Jack Jones. Jack Jones, uh, he doubled the respot to lead 2-0. He obviously could have gone on to win that match. Zhao had a century battle back well to, to get the important point there and then obviously did well in his last match as well. Yeah, and, uh, you know, he's a, he's a good player, actually. You know, he's, his ranking sort of fluctuates a little bit. It's gone down a little bit, down to 31, but can be a danger man on his day, definitely. An interesting group on table one today here at the Marshall Arena. Graham Dot, the Ang Wenbo, Sohil Vahedi and Jack Surety. Graham Dot, yeah, you know, he's, he had a very good season last season, disappointed not to qualify for the Crucible, but overall played a lot of snooker and seemed to be coming back to sort of his best. Liang Wenbo, always, uh, you know, fascinating character to watch. Obviously, they're the two favourites in that group. Sahel Vahidi trying to go one better than Hussein Vafai. I think it'd be a big upset, though, if he or, or Zach Surety won that group. And over on table two, actually, the highest seeded player we'll see today, Jack Lazowski. He's joined by Ian Burns, by Fraser Patrick, and a return to the tour for Rory McLeod. Well, here's my prediction. Okay, so none of the fourth place seeds have yet won a group. Rory McLeod is a danger man because he's coming back on the tour. Very experienced, was on the tour for many years, dropped off, he's back. And he, you know, the way he plays, he could cause a few problems. Now, I'm not saying he will win the group, but if any of the, the fourth place seeds are going to do it, it could be him. Well, it's two groups that could be very open. All the action is live at matchroom.live. And if you're in the UK, you can also watch on Free Sports.